Sorry for the delay. I've read seven, then it's no, one talk less, 10 minutes earlier. Now we are half an hour earlier, so, but I'm ready. Soon. Uh, even in your... So, my name is Adri Moldi, and I'm a Skrillus developer. Uh, for those who have only read the title here, we are not talking, talking about this pipe, but something like small tools, like a Unix pipe. Around the end of uh, last year, I took a break from uh, my Scribus activities, and I've been thinking about what is the future of publishing and what we as free software creator can provide. One of the topics I focused on was how, if it's possible to create a zoo of small tools, each solving a specific task, instead of having only one monolithic program. Um, what I was doing was mostly an EPUB exporter from Scribus, which means we have a... Uh, wait... We have a software like Scribus, which is done for, to manage fixed, very exact measure, measure, measurement and proportion, and we have to go to for a liquid layout from an EPUB, which adapts to the device you read on. And I wanted to achieve this without making the Scribus user interface more complex and make the process as smooth as possible. So, does it have to be a complex task, complex software, complex user interface? It's often so. Most users don't really seem to mind that their screen is cramped. But still, they get getting used to small, use small uh, applications with a tiny user interface, nice user interface, a very clean, on their phones, on their tablets, on the web. Um, yeah, so maybe they still want one application that's all, but on the other side, they're starting to do things with small application. But each of these apps they have on their phone, each of the app they use on the web, are isolated islands. So the idea is to create a pipe between those applications. So, question, is this the pipe we need? The Unix pipe? Um, it's, for those who don't know the Unix pipe, it is sign you see over there before the square, and it's a small comment which you put between two comments and will make that one comment, the output of one comment goes to the other comment, and uh, the second comment make what it needs. You, we have here an example, we have an ls, gives a list of files, then we cut some characters and we sort by the fifth column, which gives us uh, the fifth column is the time, no, the size. I've removed many things. And we got two pipes in one comment. It's very flexible, very easy to do. But we already see one problem. The list is not by size, it's by, by the alphabetic order of the size number. So 20,000 uh, 20, comes before 2003, 2374. There is probably a way to solve this issue, but you get more and more complicated. So we have a problem with, a, with a Unix pipe. It's only text-based. It only knows characters one after the other. It doesn't know anything about, about those characters. It doesn't know that I, want, I asked to sort by size. And I have almost no way to say that. And if now I come from a graphics background, it will be hard to use the pipe to manage um, pictures, maybe you no know, music or uh, uh, formatted text and things like this. It seems that the idea of managing uh, multimedia, graphical input in the terminal, in the shell, and so on, is catching on. 
uh, a few months ago, we finally had the release of Enlightenment there for every developer here and who maybe doesn't know Enlightenment. It took them 12 years to get to the next release. So I think all of us are better in shape than Enlightenment. But they did very cool things and it was usable also in the meantime. But they, they created now a terminal where you can show icons, you can click on them, then it gets bigger. Interesting. We have seen a few days ago Mikado. Also, nice idea, idea. Pipe doesn't have to be a sign like a line. We could you get such a nice editor from the node-based editors and put things together. Could be a nice thing to do. Another software which somehow does pipes is Fetch, which has also already been presented at other LGMs. It's a list of comments. Does it scale? Is good enough? Such an approach? Maybe. Next issue, what? We have seen some ways to put together, which are a bit alternative. And then, uh, now, how can we handle? We have seen text is a bit not too good for doing this. We should put some structure, some meaning. When I, I told about this, to, uh, this talk to people, they told me XML. As if, as if it was a solution, XML is not very lightweight, and the problem is XML just gets, gives a set of formatting rules, but not, no meaning. So we have to agree on a meaning between all applications. Won't be easy, but who knows? Another question is how fat the pipe can be. So in the Unix world, the pipe is just a carrier, just carries over what you give it. Why not create a pipe that asks the sender, what can you give? Asks the uh, receiver, what can you get? And manages the best communication. OK, I've give, I, give a I gave a try. And I create a, a photo tweaker which just resizes and scales programs. So um, I've created a small bash script which calls a tiny C program which makes a screenshot of all the screen. Here is something in script, something I need. Um, it launches photo tweaker with the picture which is in temp directory. And I can resize by scaling the, the window. And by selecting, I say which array is to be cropped. And as soon as kit, it saved the image with a new crop and a new scale. The script is piping the result, the file name, to a, a small script which uploads to image bin. And the script gives me back the URL, URL uh, to the uploaded image and puts it in, in the X11 clipboard. And all I have to do when it's finished, paste in the chat, and I can show the screenshot in four seconds about to the user who asked me, how can I do this? This is a solution for me for a problem. So five small tools, which gave me in five seconds something which is very hard to do. Otherwise, it takes one minute, two minutes, three minutes, which is tedious. But right now, what I'm doing, I'm piping file names. Is it a solution? Not really. We really need something better. Um, back to the EPUB exporter in Scribus. I think I skipped this. But yeah, I I've, I've, was thinking about multiple output, how to do it. And uh, I also talked much to Claudia and to uh, Manuel, as OSP people also did. And I'm very interested in what the OSP crew will do with HTML and CSS. I think it's about in this area of thoughts. Well, if somebody has something to tell me about this, you can reach me by this email. And I think one small question is there is a place, but not more. For this. 
So pipes. One question about pipes or not a pipe. Okay. Not yet. Oh, yes. Have you looked at web intents? Web intents? Web, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't understand. And then, okay. Yes and no. Yes and no. I think it will be hard to make pipes on the web, but why not? Uh, have you an idea yourself of what could be a pipe on the web? Yes, uh, web intents. Webintents.org. Ah, it's something. I, I, I thought if I have intents to do something for the web. No, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's actually called web intents. What is web, web intents then? Um, it's like uh, Android intents, but for. What uh, is Android, in, uh, Android intents? Uh, you have a program that uh, has data, and you can uh, share that data with another program and then kind of pipe it across programs. You could do it on Android, and uh, this is a, a, a project for the web. Um, okay. And uh, there are some other uh, things that can pipe from one web application to another, like if first this, then that. But that is uh, proprietary. But it's interesting to look and see. I have a look at how they're doing. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for not understanding your questions. <laughs> thank you for this question answer, and thank you, Alan.